You know, whether you buy a new or used motorcycle, we all want to make it our own. We immediately, as soon as you buy it, you start thinking about, okay, what upgrades can I do and that type of thing. But do you have to continually modify and upgrade your motorcycle? Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, my name is Ty and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about motorcycle modifications and if you have to continue with it or if you have to do anything at all. You know, when I first bought this CVO, one of the lures to buying this was that I told my wife, look, the great thing about the CVO, Winnie, is nothing has to be done to it. It is all set. It's got all the bells and whistles. There's absolutely nothing that I'd really have to do to that motorcycle. And babe, I'm so sorry I said that because since I bought this motorcycle, I have continually modified it with different things. Now, some people like to start out, you know, with the engine. Some people like to, you know, put a stage two in um, or all the way up to a stage four and really get that 131 horsepower. I respect that. I think that's really cool. This CVO, all right, minivan. This CVO with the 117 has more than enough power than I really need. But you know, some people like to juice these things up. You know, uh, some like how the bike looks and handles. You know, one of the main things that people do when they get a motorcycle, you want to change out the uh, grips. Or maybe you want to change out the handlebars or something like that. So I get that. I've done that too. And then there's things like your motorcycle seat which I've done on this one I got a great Mustang seat there's a, the exhaust I've got Reinhardt's on this motorcycle so no matter where you buy a motorcycle in the line of Harley Davidson whether it's a street glide street glide special and then you start to get into the CVO lineup or the limiteds you are going to do some type of modification to your motorcycle more than likely Another aspect of upgrades would have to be safety. I know a lot of people, when they get their motorcycles from the Harley-Davidson factory, one of the very first things that a lot of people do, including myself, is get rid of the lights that Harley put in there. You know, you don't need those. Upgrade to some LEDs and uh, maybe something like Zero 3D or Custom Dynamics. Both of those companies have exceptional products. I know with me personally, if I was going to choose one particular upgrade for my motorcycle over handlebars, over engine upgrades, over exhaust, any of that stuff, I would get Custom Dynamics Magic Strobe. Let me just say this. If your motorcycle is compatible with Custom Dynamics Magic Strobe, just, just get it. I mean, just get it. it I, I believe it is absolutely and totally that important of an upgrade for your safety and for the safety of others. So that would be my number one priority upgrade. I'll tell you what, in the comments below, let me know what you think. What would be your number one most recommended upgrade for a brand new motorcycle? So as I'm out riding this afternoon, I think I might title this video something like, should you continually modify your motorcycle? Not 100% sure yet, but what I'm focusing in on right now is this term or this word, should right so if i'm asking the question should you continually mod modify your motorcycle is there some type of obligation that we as motorcyclists should always upgrade our motorcycle what do you think about that with me i think it is absolutely and totally 100 percent personal preference if you want to upgrade your motorcycle great that's fantastic if you don't want to if you want to buy a brand new motorcycle from harley davidson or any other vendor for that matter and you want to leave it exactly as it is hey man it's just like bobby brown that is your prerogative now let me tell you guys a story about what spawned this thought for a video so a month maybe two months ago winnie and i went and we went to wisconsin we went up there to visit my best friend and we did a ton of stuff man we had so much fun hanging out with Mike and Sarah. So while we were up there, Mike planned all of these great things for us to do. And one of the things that he planned was to go visit 
the Field of Dreams baseball field. Now, if you've ever seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about with Kevin Costner and the Field of Dreams and how it surrounds about baseball, and he built this, this baseball field, and it was just, it was fantastic. But anyway, we go up there, um, and we go up to the site, the farmhouse, all this stuff where they made the movie. And you can actually run the bases and play baseball out there if you want to. Oh, really? It's a really cool experience. But if you pay a little extra, just a couple of bucks, you get to go on a tour of the home where they filmed the movie. So our tour guide was a great guy, just a fantastic guy. And these people that are there, work there, some of them that are visiting, they, they love baseball, man. I mean, they love baseball. They treat baseball in the same way that we treat motorcycles in a very real sense it is a religious experience for all these people I mean they love it and the tour guide was a fantastic dude and I wish I had my camera rolling at the time I didn't I was just kind of in, enjoying the moment but uh, he's he's dressed up in this old-time baseball outfit like like the guys wore in the movies and he points out he points out that way to the baseball field looking we're in the house he's looking through the window he points out to the baseball field and he says you know there are some things in life that don't need to be changed or upgraded they just need to be maintained and he said that's the way that field is there's nothing about it that needs to be changed it's perfect the way it is it only needs to be maintained. And I thought, man, that is deep. On a, that is some deep thinking on many different levels when you apply that to different areas of life. And I thought, you know, that would make a great video for us to talk about. So that's what got me thinking. You know, do I have to, have to continually upgrade my motorcycle? Or, or is there a point, or is there a point where I get to where I'm just about where I am with this one. I love this motorcycle exactly the way it is. I love the bars, I love the exhaust, I love the way it looks, the way it handles. There's not much more that I can think of that I would want to do to this motorcycle. Maybe an engine upgrade, but like I said, I'm just not a fast, aggressive rider. I don't think I need it, to be perfectly honest with you, but maybe a stage two wouldn't hurt. So that got me thinking, do I need to upgrade my motorcycle? Do you need to upgrade your motorcycle or do they just need to be maintained? It's a good deep thought. I enjoyed that time over there very much because there was this crossover between baseball and motorcycles and how one person can view and really love their hobby. So food for thought, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe tell me some of the modifications that you've done that you like, that you don't like, and what would be your number one recommendation. I would love to be able to hear that. Well, thank you guys very much for tuning in to the video today. I hope you have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.